Well, in schools like this one in Boone County, there are generations of students who've studied the impact gun violence can have on the classroom. And armed with that knowledge, they're using their voices to try to prevent more tragedies. High school students like Jude Dale know all too well that America is enduring an era of mass shootings. It can happen anywhere at any time. A glaring example happened last year in Uvalde, Texas, when a gunman shot and killed 19 students and two teachers at Robb Elementary. After that tragedy, Kentucky's Education Commissioner created a student advisory council and asked the group to explore new and different ways to keep classrooms safe. Dale, a junior at Ignite Institute, and 29 students from across the Bluegrass State accepted the challenge. We are all from different regions of Kentucky, and we all have different mindsets, and our lives are lived so differently, but everyone was so dedicated. The result of that dedication was revealed this week in Frankfurt, where members of the student council announced nine concrete steps for lawmakers to consider, from improving reality-based active shooter drills to heavily promoting an anonymous reporting tip line all Kentucky schools are required to have. For Dale, the recommendations reflect the need to keep thinking outside the box when it comes to protecting her peers. We are the future generation. If we don't have a say, in our future, then our future is not going to look too bright. Now, the students' recommendations are reaching the ears of lawmakers during what's shaping up to be a very important week when it comes to school safety. Yesterday, for the first time ever, the United States Secret Service released information about mass attacks going back to 2016, including tragedies that unfolded inside classrooms. In Boone County, Todd Dykes, WLWT.